I wanted to record this video to show a problem that I was having with blending my locomotion and my animation montages inside of Unreal Engine 5. And the solution that I came up with in hopes that either it helps other people or someone can come in and in the comments let me know, hey, there's a much easier way to do this. But uh, let me show you what the problem was. So in my game, I've got some pretty basic locomotion. And when I attack, I wanted it to blend between moving the feet and like doing the walk cycle, run cycle into my attack. So no matter where I was in the run or walk cycle, it should blend into the start of the attack, which is working now. You can see that the blend is pretty good. But this is what it used to look like. So here you can see it's snapping instantly. So the solution I came up with was pretty simple, really. Uh, all I needed to do was create an additional blend between my locomotion and then my locomotion into the default slot, which is what gets, um, this is where the animation montage overwrites the locomotion. So I can manually lerp this blend variable here that I created and feed that into the alpha of the blend node. And the way that this gets lerped is pretty simple. I just in um, somewhere else in my, my combat system, when I go to attack, I call this custom event on my animation blueprint. And I create a timer where I just increment that blend value between zero and one based on a total blend time that I've created. And then I have some other code in here that just makes it frame rate independent. Uh, and that's all. another issue I ran into. Uh, in my game, I have the frame rate capped at 60 FPS. And one thing I noticed was that if I just run a timer as fast as it can run, the timer custom event runs faster than that capped FPS. So the simulation tick can actually go faster than your frame, right? And that was causing this not to interpolate or not to um, blend with the time I expected it to. So my solution was to just, um, in my game, luckily, I know what my cap frame rate is. So using get world delta seconds will work as long as I run this event no faster than that cap frame rate. So that's why this works. Probably an easier way to do it, but I couldn't use timelines in here. Uh, I guess there's no way to use timelines inside of your animation blueprint. So this is the solution I came up with. Uh, and then another thing that I do in my game, and I think this is why the blending wasn't working as I expected between locomotion and the montage here, just by default. I think it's related to root motion. So my locomotion is just in place animations, not root motion. And then all of my attack montages use root motion. So I think the transition to a root motion based animation montage was preventing a nice smooth blend out from the in place locomotion. But now it looks much better. And even though I'm doing more of a linear interpolation now, uh, now that I have the system broken out this way, I could very easily create a custom curve or whatever kind of ease in, ease out that I want uh, for that blend from locomotion to attack. 
Another thought I had was to kind of do this inside of a state machine. And then there I could use the custom curve blend nodes and whatnot. And maybe that's another way to do this, but I haven't tried that method yet. So the one downside to this approach is that if your blend time is too long, then you'll notice that it'll snap back from the root motion being played in the in the attack montage. So that you just got to be careful. In my game, it's fine because there's a decently long wind up period in all of my attacks. But if you had an attack montage or animation montage where you suddenly move very quickly with root motion, then you would get an obvious snap effect which you most likely do not want. But for me, a nice 250 millisecond blend works fine. And the locomotion into the attack always looks pretty good. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video showing that and how I solved it and See if anyone else out there in the community has any tips or suggestions. If you do, just leave them in the comments and hopefully uh, it helps someone else out.